What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another video. Today I am cleaning up the M6 a little bit before our rally, that's in two days now. And I'm also really excited to try this Max Coat Wheel Guard. It's made by Chemical Guys and essentially this is kind of like a ceramic coating for your wheels except the DIY at home version. This is kind of like the best thing you can do before moving to a full on ceramic coating for your wheels. If you look at my wheels on my M6, let me brighten this up for you. My wheels always look like they're satin or matte finish, but in reality, if I do one of these, my wheels are always caked with brake dust. This car has giant 15.6 inch rotors, front and rear, not the carbon ceramics, clearly. And so my wheels are actually gloss, but they never look like it. So I'm hoping this stuff will help with that a little bit and make it easier to clean. Car's all clean, looking good. On a side note, make sure you put a screen protector on your GoPro. As you can see, there's some big old cracks in mine. I just took it off. I just dropped it right in the driveway and boom. So make sure you get the little screen protector. What the wheels look like now that they're actually clean and shiny and the car just looks overall so much better when everything is nice and clean. So. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the wheels just one last time and then start applying the wheel guard. Some gooey goop. I'm gonna use this applicator, probably that side. Let's see how this goes. Got all four wheels coated up. That stuff is uh, pretty green. It says wait about 15 minutes. I'm probably gonna wait a little bit longer. The longer it sits on there, the better it's gonna be. Buff it off and then they're done. Can I honestly say the wheels on this car have never been this clean, probably since I own them. I just buffed them off and they are like glowing. That's how shiny they are. They look so good right now. So I'm really hoping that after applying this stuff, uh, brake dust and all of that just kind of washes off with some water. I really, really hope it works. So here's the plan. I'm gonna go on the rally this weekend and beat the crap out of this car like we always do because that's why we buy them. We buy them to drive them. I'm gonna drive the crap out of the car. It's gonna be a ton of brake dust and when I can remember, I'm gonna try to put some water on there, see if it falls right off or not. What's happening, guys? It's been about a week since the rally. If you guys didn't see the rally video, check it out up there. It was an amazing time. And obviously we did a lot of miles. We did about 1,500 miles on our entire weekend. So that is a lot of brake dust, that's a lot of hard braking, and a lot of gunk going at these wheels. I did wash a car about, I washed a car like three or four days ago. Drove it uh, only a few miles since then. So I will put on the screen what they looked like right before I washed them with the wheel guard on and then I'll put the little clip of me washing the wheel. And then this is what the wheels currently look like. So this is after a little bit of driving. I've got like minimal brake dust on here and some other grime and stuff. They don't look terrible, but I can't really say that this product did as much as I was hoping. When I washed the car a few days ago, I used Diablo gel on three of them. And then this fourth one, I didn't use it at first. I wanted to see if just water would take off all the dirt and grime, and it really didn't. It didn't really wanna leave the surface as easily as I was hoping. Maybe it was a little bit easier to dry them afterwards, but I ended up just using Diablo wheel gel on those as well. 
and I really couldn't tell a noticeable difference from having a wheel guard on there to how I normally wash my wheels. I don't know if it was just an extreme scenario because there was so much gunk on them, but for me, the time it took to put the wheel guard on wasn't really worth it. And I think if you got brand new wheels and did it and let them sit for maybe a whole night, I only let the stuff dry on there for like half an hour. Uh, I think if you left it on there longer, as well as I maybe not a painted wheel, these wheels are painted, so that might have something to do with it. They do shine up nice, but not the result I was ultimately looking for, which is kind of disappointing, but for only 20 bucks, not terrible. So by now you're probably wondering, well Ty, what are you telling me? Should I buy a jar of this stuff and put it on my wheels? I would say if your wheels are power coated or like a brand new wheel and you have some time before you're mounting them, give it a shot. It's only about 20 bucks. So I did see some improvements. I'm definitely gonna be trying it on my next set of new wheels, which might be sooner than you would be expecting. So I'm gonna give it another shot, but for now I give it a mediocre three out of 10. We're, we're giving it a three out of 10. Maybe someone can convince me otherwise, but unless you get your wheels professionally ceramic coated, this stuff isn't gonna do all that much. Like I said, I'm gonna test it on the next set of wheels that start perfectly clean, brand new, and we'll see what happens. With that being said, thank you guys for checking out this video. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight. This stuff sounds super impressive when you get the spiel, but I don't know if it really pulled through for me. As always, hit that subscribe button and check out the rest of the channel. There are new videos going up all the time. Lots of fun stuff happening. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Um.